oxidation reduction. So what you're learning about is what happens, or what you want to think about, is what is happening to the electrons in an equation, okay? So we're looking at what happens to the electrons in an equation, okay? And I'm going to go through some steps of what you're going to do. Okay. But before we go through the steps, I'm going to give you like two mnemonic devices. One is oil rig. The second is Leo the lion goes girl. Okay. Oil rig. Leo the lion says, her. This is how you're going to remember what's happening to the electrons to decide if it's oxidized or reduced. Okay? So, what this stands for, it's basically saying that oxidation is, the I, a loss of electrons. So, oxidation is a loss of electrons. So we're always talking about what's happening with our electrons. Reduction. Is a gain of electrons. So reduction is a gain of those electrons. So that's one way that you can think about it. If you use the second mnemonic device, Leo the lion says Ger, it's basically the same thing, but it's saying loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. Just depends. Do you want to have oxidation as your first word or oxidation of as your last word? Okay? So we're going to look at what happens to the electrons in a balanced equation. Okay? So I'm going to write a balanced equation for you. Here's our example. Al aluminum plus PbCl3. Actually, I'm going to go with two. Arrow AlCl3 plus Pb. <coughs> So aluminum plus lead 2 chloride yields aluminum chloride plus lead. So this is our equation. So we're going to look at the steps. Step one, you're going to balance your equation. Just like we've done before. Balance out both sides. If we look at it, we're going to put a 3 here. That'll give us 3 leads. Six chlorines, put a two here, two aluminums, six chlorines. We need three leads and we need two aluminums. So, first thing, you're going to balance out your equation. Second step, you're going to assign oxidation numbers to every element within your equation. Okay? You're going to go back to looking at if it's ionic. We know that there's a plus and there's a minus. We know that if it's a single element, the charge is zero. Okay? So, 
This aluminum is by itself, so I'm going to put a zero up here. In the lead 2 chloride, I know this is a minus 1 because it's column 17. There's two of them, so this has to be a plus 2. Over here, again, chlorine's a minus 1, three of them. This is a plus 3. Lead's all by itself, so this is a zero. So now we've assigned oxidation numbers to all of the different elements, both sides of the equation. Okay? Step three. We're going to figure out what happens to the electrons as they go from reactant side to the product side. So I'm going to just put what happens to the electrons. And you're just going to figure that out by listing every element. So I'm just going to put, list each element, okay, and then we're going to go reactant side, product side, reactant side, product side. Okay. So we have aluminum, we have lead, and we have chlorine on the reactant side. Keep it same order. So if we look at aluminum, the oxidation number right now is zero. Okay? Goes from zero. On this side, it's a plus three. The lead is a plus two, and it goes to a zero. Chlorine goes from a minus one to a minus one, so it stays the same. Most likely, one element's going to stay the same. Same charge, both sides. So we have to look at what happened to the electrons. Are we gaining electrons or are we losing electrons? So that's the question. Are we gaining or losing? Okay. And that leads us back to this. Oxidation, loss of electrons, reduction, gaining of electrons. So we're going to list it. Okay. So I'm going to erase this and just say this went from zero to plus three. So did we gain electrons or did we lose electrons? From zero, if we became more positive, then we have to lost electrons. Okay? Here, we went from positive to a zero. So we had to gain electrons. So if we lost electrons, oxidation is loss of electrons. So we're going to say that that oxidation is where we lost the electrons. So we can say aluminum was oxidized. Okay? We lost electrons, becomes oxidized. Reduction is a gaining of electrons. So if there's a reduction, there's a gain of electrons. So lead went from plus two down to a zero, therefore this was reduced. Nothing happened to the chlorine, stayed the same, so we can basically just cross it out and not worry about it. So you're going to look what happened to the electrons, gain or loss, in this case we lost electrons, in this case we gained electrons. And then go back to your mnemonic device. 
use either oil rig or Leo the lion says girth. 